Hello everyone, hope everyone's having a great week. This week's Torah portion, portion of Truma, Hashem commands Moshe to tell the Jewish people to be involved in the construction of the Mishkan, to take their possessions and to donate in order to help build and construct the tabernacle while the Jews were in the desert. And it's interesting to note that when Hashem tells Moshe that the Jewish people should give money to donate towards the tabernacle, Hashem uses the words Asher yid venu libo, that anybody whose heart motivates them, that's who should give the money to donate to build a tabernacle. And the commentaries point out that it's not just enough for the Jewish people to give money to build a tabernacle. What Hashem really wants are those who are motivated to give. It's one thing to give the money to help build the Mishkan, but that's not enough in Hashem's eyes. What Hashem really wants is Asher yid venu libo, someone who's motivated, someone who desires to do the mitzvah of charity, someone who wants to give to the tabernacle. It's one thing to give, but it's another thing to desire to give, to be motivated to give. And the truth is that's with all mitzvot, with all commandments. It's one thing to do the mitzvah. It's one thing to do the commandment. But we have to ask ourselves, are we doing it with passion? Are we doing it with simcha, with joy? Are we doing it because we really want to do it? Or are we doing it because we have to do it and we feel forced to do it? Are we motivated to do it? The Torah is teaching us a very important lesson. That it's not just enough to serve God, but we have to serve God besimcha, with happiness, with motivation, with waking up every day in the morning and saying, Moda Ani, thank you Hashem that I'm alive. Thank you that I have the capacity to serve you with joy. And that's with any relationship that we have. Any relationship that's built on joy, on passion, on motivation, that will create a long-lasting, healthy relationship. And that's what Hashem is telling Moshe to teach the Jewish people. That not only should they give money to help donate, to help build the Mishkan in the desert, but they should do it with simcha. They should do it with joy, with motivation. A teacher of mine used to say that one can give tzedakah one could give charity and do an aver and do a sin at the same time. How is that possible? Because if a poor person comes to you and says, can I have some money? I need some money for food. And you throw him a dollar and you say, here, take it, go away, leave me alone, I'm busy. So it may look like you've given charity. The scene may appear to be that you've given money to a poor person, but that's not charity because you made the poor person feel like garbage. You degraded him. And that's a sin. The Torah is teaching us that when we give tzedakah, when we give charity, when we do any mitzvah, we should think about what is our attitude while we are giving it. Is my attitude a positive one? Am I making this person feel good and honorable when I'm giving him the charity? And if we go through life performing the mitzvot with this concept in mind, I share yid venu libo, and I truly believe it will take our relationship with Hashem our relationship with others to great, great heights. Shabbat Shalom.